Hi, this is recipe four in the grow bag series. Find out more about those on the website www.feedingthefamily.uk. Uh, we're cooking a Spanish omelette with a spinach and tomato salsa. Uh, so thank you for this uh, nice warm weather. Um, give it a try. So looking at your ingredients, you're gonna need these two separate parts, a um, part for your omelette and a part for your salsa. You're gonna need six eggs for the omelette, 125 grams of grated cheese, some chopped up chives I've got here, or you could use fresh parsley. Um, you're gonna need one small onion that's been finely chopped here, um, and I've got um, a sausage, just one sausage that's been chopped up. You could use a cocktail sausage or a bit of cooked bacon or chicken or you know a mixture. You, you know, you can be creative here. And I've also got here uh, six new potatoes that have been cooked and just cut into thin slices. Hasn't got to be exact um, and don't worry if some of them break, it kind of adds to the rustic effect of this. And then for your salsa, you're gonna need six tomatoes that have been chopped up, um, a lime, you're gonna need a small red onion that's been finely chopped, half of a red bell pepper that's been chopped and a good bunch of um, fresh coriander that's been chopped up and uh, one garlic clove. And then just some, uh, some spinach here that's been washed, um, about 120, 125 grams you're gonna need of that. Okay, so let's get started on our omelette. I've got my frying pan that's on a medium heat. We're gonna need some olive oil. And we're gonna to start to fry our onions. Let's add some salt and pepper. Okay, and then just give it a, make sure it's all covered in the oil. While that's frying off, um, you're going to need a jug big enough to get all of your omelette ingredients in, near enough. So you're going to need six eggs in here. Eggs. Into that, we want to add our cheese. Mine's starting to melt, it's so hot here at the moment. And our chives, or whatever herb you chose, whether it's parsley or something else. Then, just with a fork, just give it um, a mix together. ready to just pour on. And this this dinner is great um, for, for leftovers as well because you can, you know, if you're not feeding four people, um, still make it for this portion for yourself and it'll make a lovely lunch or a little snack um, for another day. I haven't tried freezing it though. I'm not sure how well that would do. So check on your onions, make sure they're Burning, just sizzling away nicely. We can now add in with our sausage, get that warming up, and our potatoes. We can start absorbing some of the fat and just sort of crisp off a little. You know, there's nothing to stop you once you've learnt this recipe to then play with it and add other ingredients, different vegetables, um, you know, peppers, tomatoes, spinach even. Um, it's a really versatile dish. 
The onions have been cooking for about five minutes and they're just starting to go brown um, along with the potatoes and the sausage. It's now time to add our eggy mixture. Put it all in. And you want to um, gently stir this. So just so you know, this is on a, a medium heat. You want to um, just keep stirring it a little, pushing in, pushing the cooked bits into the middle. And this just stops it from burning at the bottom. Um, and making sure it's all cooked through. But you don't want to do it the whole time. You want to just do it enough so there's still a little bit um, wetness around so that it will um, hold together and not turn into scrambled eggs. So I'm stopped now. I literally probably moved it about six times just to get some, some of it cooked. And now I want it to make a nice seal at the bottom so it stays all together. Now if you have um, a grill, you could put this, um, once it's had sort of five minutes on here, you could then put it under a grill just to cook the top. Um, oh, I tend, I just don't use a grill. I just wait patiently. Um, just wait an extra few minutes and it will cook all the way through. Um, you wanna see no raw egg, basically. So just poke around a little bit. Um, make sure that it is a non-stick pan that you're using, um, otherwise it's gonna be a bit of a challenge to get out. But it's all beginning to, to cook. Just got a few wobbly bits around the edge. Um, you just have to wait, really. I'll just show you that there's still some raw egg here. Just gonna wait until that's cooked. But you can see this other parts a bit more solid. Some more there, but we'll just wait. And you'll just see the edges, they'll, they'll just start to uh, just start to come up. While our omelette's just finishing off, uh, we're gonna make our salsa. So we want a nice pretty dish. It's very simple. We just want to put our tomatoes into here. With our onions, peppers, coriander. I'm going to crush our garlic into here. going to get our, our plate and have a nice pan full of our spinach. Omelette is done and it's ready to be served. So just carefully, I've taken out a nice wedge here. 
a lovely brown coating at the bottom to hold it all together. And that's it. We need to eat. <laughs>